Thank you. Mr. Agnew. Thank you, Chairman. Uh, I was interested to listen to Paolo de Castro, and he mentioned waste. And there's no doubt there is an enormous amount of wastage in the food chain and with consumers. And there, there are two items here which I think are worthy of your opinion, Madam, as what, what you think of this. The first is food waste, as it is, um, used to in the past be fed to pigs. And it was known as pig swill, rather perhaps a, a, an unpleasant term, but that's what it was called. And pigs would eat this readily enough, and we would then eat the pigs. The problem now is that it can be associated with, the, with transferring perhaps animal diseases, possibly. Uh, we heard that in Britain the foot and mouth epidemic started in a, a pig unit that fed swill. But nevertheless, it is nutritious and pigs like to eat it. Does the speaker feel that there could be a role for food waste being turned into pig swill and being fed to pigs? Or is that simply something in the prehistoric past and we can never return to that again? The other item of waste is in the abattoirs, where traditionally uh, the abattoir waste was high in protein and that was processed back into animal feed. And we know that whatever we do, we must not feed the same species back to the same species and we should never anyway feed animal protein to ruminants. But actually, scientifically, there is not a problem with feeding ruminant and pig protein to poultry and with feeding, feeding ruminant and, uh, and poultry waste to pigs, as long as you cross the species barrier and don't feed to the same species. But again, there is public resistance to this. I just wondered what your feelings were uh, on, on it. There is waste. There are ways of using it. Are we prepared to do it? Thank you. I was asked uh, what I think about uh, using waste as pig swill, pig feed, uh, But I should just recall that for many years, almost a century, there was loads of industry in Chicago. In 1893, uh, there was an exhibition in Chicago and there was a major slaughterhouse in Chicago and it was on the uh, poor land around uh, the slaughterhouse, the fetid lands around the slaughterhouse, where the exhibition was held. But I think... Uh, waste... At the, well, at the time, waste was used not only to feed pigs, but... Uh, it was also used uh, as fertilizer for land and then crops were grown and uh, people uh, made a lot of money out of exporting these crops. Well, I'm asked, I was asked whether this is right or wrong, but it's not really my job to say whether it's right or wrong. I'm not in a position to say that. But what I can say is that the issue of food waste, uh, like many other problems, such as uh, the fact that some people are obese and some don't have enough food, well, all of this is part of the point of uh, Milan 2020. I mean, fighting food waste was uh, present in your resolutions as well, i.e. producing as little waste as possible. But it's all part of what Milan 2015 is about. That's not my subject, I'm afraid. I'm not an expert on this. I do apologise, but uh, I try not to uh, talk too much about things I don't know about. But uh, what I can say is that this idea of reducing food waste is part of the thing is, is part of what uh, Milan 2015 is all about and is one of the things uh, is part of what we're dealing with. So I'm going to conclude and I